guys, as promised, here is my Brahmin bag collection video. I did one a couple years ago, and for some reason, something is clicking in my head that this is not all of my bags. The only one that should be missing is if you look at my other video, I'm pretty sure it's still public, that I did at my old house. Um, there's a peach, real light peach color one, just like a tote style. I left that one in the closet at that house when I sold it and um, because I just wasn't crazy about it. But other than that, I'm going to have to go back and look because it doesn't seem like all my bags are here. I don't know where they would be. but So I'm just going to start out. I'm going to try to tell you the colors as best as I can. Uh, I might not. I try to keep the, um, the piece that comes with them too. And I'm going to... Try to go through this really fast. Sorry, I should have been a little bit more um, prepared. I don't know the name of this one. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, the first one I'm going to show you is this one I bought like last fall, and it's kind of a burgundy rust color. Um, it's just not, I mean, it does have the long strap that I like, but it's just not as roomy. That's showing it pretty good. I'm looking to see if I can find the actual color of this one in the envelope. Most of them have it, and I don't, I'm not finding it in this one. So, I must not, sorry. I just must have not kept the tag for that one. So, this is my first one. I got that one last year, and I may have showed it in a video when I got it. I also, I believe, um, last year, or maybe the end of 2016, maybe, got this one, and this one doesn't have the color tag in it either um this one of them was like black cherry okay so it's this one i'm trying to get them straight when i show it to you um this is probably my favorite no i have another favorite this one's a little bit my favorite one that's a little bit more roomy or other i like the totes too but i'll show you my favorite favorite but it doesn't have a lot of um room but it's got lots of pockets they always have like this we can put your phone if you want to and i'm not sure if this was the black cherry or not it's it's showing brown but this is kind of a red um but compare i'll compare these two because so you can see the color difference see how this one's got that rust in it and this one's on this just a burgundy okay so here this is my favorite style i wish i'm gonna say this is asher the style is Asher. I'm not real sure. Let's see if the ticket's got it on there. I'm not real sure of this color. I swear, I always tried to keep those tags that had the color on there in case somebody asked me. So this one's my favorite style. But it's not extremely roomy with my huge wallet. Now, if I just take some, like a card and, you know, and some stuff like that, I've got enough room. But it's got the long strap. This particular one, I want to say this is a mini Asher. I think that's what this style is called. But um, it's got the tassel. It does have the pocket on the back. And I love this color. Um, so there's the inside of it. I also love that color so much. I think I got that the spring of 2017, I want to say. And I love the color so much. I don't have the color tag for this one either. I got this one. And I want to sit this just a little clutch. And uh, it's just, you know, got a zip pocket inside. And it's got the little handle and the tassel. Um, but this is the same color. I want to say I got this one. And then went and when they came out with these, I just was so in love with the color. Because this is probably, I, I don't know, I can tell you. I can tell you which one's my favorite color, I guess, after I show them all. This one I've had for a long time. And this is the more square style clutch. This one is red red compared to this one. So you can see the how burgundy that one is. Um, let's see if I see a name. I believe when they come out with these, they don't come out with the colors again. Or maybe it's going to be a long time. But this one doesn't have anything but the zip and then this if you want to attach it. But um, that's it. I don't use this very much, but I want to say I bought this bag like six or seven years ago. This is a such a pretty color. I hope I have. There's two that's really close together in color. Okay, it does have a zip. And um, I don't have it. Wow, I used to save these all the time. They probably just got tossed. But uh, this, again, is I'm pretty sure it's the same as this one. It's got the tassel in this. But I love this color because I want to say it's like an eggplant. It's not the um, the one that they call pecan or pecan. 
it's like an eggplant and if I if I have that one I will um, show you the difference and then I also have it in white <laughs> um, which I, I got on a kick one year that this is what I wanted to carry and it just I love it and it's perfect for this one's got the name I got the name on the tag on this one Pearl Melbourne okay so these are Melbourne bags and this is Pearl um, pretty much the same as the other ones but uh, I just got on a kit where this is what I wanted. And I do use them. Um, did I really get this too? Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize I had. It's the same color as this. And I got the... I think sometimes I just get freaking forgetful. Or maybe... This was last year, year and a half ago. So maybe I just decided I wanted all three pieces. This is the more square one. But I'm just now seeing that... <laughs> I must really love this shade. Oh, wow. Thumbnail. Um, let's see. This one's old, but it's, I love this pink. Now, I know this was in my last video. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful, like, cool tone. It's showing almost perfect, but I, I like these for a tote, like, on your shoulder. I never carry this in my hand, but then I got to where I liked, um, this style because I could carry, see the difference? Like, perfect room for me is this size. This is what the peach one was. That I left and it's in my other video but I just didn't I didn't want it I didn't like it I, I just it was probably my first Brahmin bag to be honest got the, it was one of the oldest ones yeah I do have this here too um okay I'm gonna show you the difference in these two clutches I'm not gonna buy any more clutches I do use them but I don't use them enough for it to be um so just to keep buying them like that this is doesn't have the color okay I hope it shows up on camera this is I think the last, no, it's not <laughs> the last clutch. Now you got to think about this. This is over years. This isn't something I showed you the, the ones that were probably about, you know, in the last two years, but some of these, I know this one I've had for a long time. I want to say this is the color pecan or pecan and that's showing really good. Okay. So I'm going to compare it to the, in on camera, it's not going to show there. It might show a little bit. This one does have that more eggplant where this one is more brown. They look very similar on camera, but you can tell. Let's see if you can tell the difference better in the back. It's just got one's purp more purple and one's brown. Sorry, I can't tell you the names. I believe the brownish one, though, is the pecan or whatever. So, this is another mini Asher. This one was more recent, like, um... I think within eight months, I would say, and I may have shown it. It's got the long strap. Um, it's got the, uh, yeah, it's got the tassel. It's got the pocket in the back right there, and then the pockets and everything inside. This gray color, um, almost in certain lights, has a lavender tint to it, and that's what, it's not lavender at all, but it's the gray of it has that, and I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but I love that one. Um, let's see. How many minutes are we? Okay, I'm trying to get this fast. This is my least favorite bag, I believe. Um, and, and this one is old. Let's see what this thing says. Had I been more prepared, I could have looked these up, but I've been trying to do this video and trying to do this video. And these things have been in my bedroom and it's time to put them up in my closet. It's the turquoise, and I'll show it to you compared to the green, how... I want to say this one's three or four, four years old. I think I bought this when I kind of first moved to Wilmington. But compared, you see, it's not blue, but it's, you know, it's it, this shows you that it's not as green as you think it is. Um, and But on the camera, it's looking a little bit more blue. And it just has that. And I like it. This is good for just, like, if you could just got to throw a few things. To, like, if you're going clubbing or dancing or something like that and you need, like, you're going to be on the dance floor because it's crowded and you got to keep your bag with you. I, I wouldn't want anything bigger than this with me. Um, one more clutch. And I really hope I've got the tag for this one. But, um, it is Zest. Oh, wait a minute. Kayla Zest. And it's almost, this was last spring, I think. Um, early spring of 2000, it could have been 16, because I might have had this long, the time has flown with all this moving and stuff I've done, but, so it's just the same, it's just the same clutch, but it's almost like a chartreuse color, um, maybe a little bit more on the yellow side than an actual chartreuse, but this one, I've got stuff in, I bought, I have bought this year, see, I don't know where all my old bags are, because 
I don't think when we had, you know, those of you that follow me know that several years ago, my stepmom and I had a lot of yard sales, but I just don't think I would have sold a Brahmin bag. I would have sold, I ended up giving the peach one away, but um, this is Mini Asher Vertigris melbourne so i'm assuming this color is called vertigris but again this is my favorite style but it's got the pocket back here and got the long strap and, and the straps will actually sit by my hip which is where i like them but um i i don't know i just don't know what happened to the other ones because i'm going to when i get time find my other video that video has got to be four years old and um go through and see because like I don't feel like this is I feel like I'm missing two or three like and and you're talking about a period of 20 years so um anyway so that's those and if any of you are interested more interested in the details um I can try to find just ask me below the only thing about Brahmin is and I started to say this a while ago I don't think they come back out with some of the um they might come out with this again and they might come out with this like it's like a spring green um but sometimes they don't now i think the pecan color i think they always have um and probably black or something i don't have any i never bought any black ones i don't think but this pearl is so pretty too i love it anyway so that's my collection now but i'm missing something so um so I don't drag that out <laughs> anymore. That's all I can find right now. Um, if I happen to come across, you know, the two or three that I feel like I'm missing, I don't know what they are, I will definitely show them in another video. Um, so the other part of this video, I want to say hey to Mace. He said he's my favorite fan, my biggest fan. Um, he thinks I'm famous. <laughs> and um, anyway, um, it's Barbara's grandson. And I ordered from Barbara again, and I ordered, um, in the last video I showed you guys, the hot chocolate and marshmallow mango shea butter. Um, I had ordered four ounces, and it was in two two ounces, which I enjoyed better because the two ounces you can throw in your bag. This one will stay home, and it's a 12 ounce, but it was a repurchase of the hot chocolate and marshmallows, and it's earthandtreasures.biz. She has amazing scents. I'm not... I'm not just saying this. I, I've ordered from her for over 20 years now. Um, but the list of scents, if you go on her fragrance, she's got things you can order like body butter, spray oils, whatever, soap. And then she's got a list of fragrances. So you go through, this is what I do. Go through the list of fragrances, see what you want, write it down. Then go to, on the other page, the actual products, like a two ounce spray oil, and you type in the scent, like hot chocolate and marshmallows, and add it to your cart. That's the way you do that site. Um, but anyway, so this is, this is my big boy that's going to stay home. And I got the, uh, let's see, what is this, like two ounce of the, I, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to the hot chocolate marshmallows, but I'm going to show you two more chocolates that she sent me three samples, three things to kind of test out and sample and see how I like. Now I have yet to smell the Tom Ford Ethan Fabulous. Um, I did not, when I went to Charlotte near my house a couple weeks ago, I didn't end up going to South Park and I wanted to, but I was kind of pushed for time. And so um, I'm planning a trip to Crabtree in Raleigh. Sometime, it probably is going to be next weekend and hopefully I will actually get to smell it. But I'm loving this. I like the leather in this and it's almost like a sweet vanilla leather. That, and, and I don't know what the real thing smells like. I have no idea. Or I could tell you it smells just like it. I don't know. But I can't wait to get my hands on it. But this smells good. You know, I like leather. Okay, so she just got two new scents in. She's also got a marshmallow, I believe, when I was talking to her, that's not posted yet. So if anybody likes just marshmallow, because I told her I'll get, I don't know if I'll get this one. I might get the, um, like, six ounce or four ounce of the marshmallow mango shake, because I love, I just love marshmallow. Okay, so these two chocolates, these are just chocolates without the marshmallow. And so, um... She, she's gotten, she just wanted me to, to try these and see what I thought. So I tested both, all three of these at different times. My first one that I tried was the Tom Ford and I liked it. Then that night, which was last night, I did the Chocolate Thunder. And I mean, all I can show you is the little thing, the little 
tester things come in. Um, oh, yeah, I think you can order these if you just, you know, want to try a scent. I mean, this is all pretty big size, um, and they're not that expensive. Um, chocolate Thunder is an extreme chocolate. Extreme. It's, um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like if you ha smelled the strongest milky chocolate. You know what I mean? It's got that, but it's very strong. That's what Chocolate Thunder is. And to me, the Chocolate Truffles is close, but milder. And I like both of them. But, but if you want a strong, strong, real milk chocolate scent, I would say Thunder. If you want to tone it down a little bit, Truffles. And if you want to sweeten it, the hot chocolate marshmallows um and the hot chocolate marshmallows is my favorite of all these and I, I told her i said that it always will be probably anybody that liked and i may have said this before i can't remember the um oh my gosh choco lovers from the pink sugar ugh, my mind goes blank when i'm trying to say something if you like the Choco Lovers that you absolutely cannot find and why that company doesn't put Choco Lovers out as many people. I mean, you can look at rants on YouTube and everywhere else that people just, I mean, they're like crazy trying to find it. I actually have a bottle and I have a backup that I keep in the refrigerator boxed up. Um, but this is going to be extremely... Oh my God. And everybody loves it. Like, I'll take it like if we go play trivia the little group of friends, um, I bust out my little one and I'll put it on and everybody's like, oh my God, oh my God. So then we're passing her around. And I mean, everybody likes it. Men love this one. I don't know. It's just the thing. So, um, anyway, trying to think if there's anything else I could tell you. Oh, it was kind of sad. Um, just a storm update. Schools have gone back in. They went back a couple weeks ago. They were out for almost two months after, after Hurricane Florence. Um, and, you know, I was telling you in my other video that we right here didn't flood, but across our main road, which is like, I don't know, five or six houses down. The other side, there's houses like three-story houses that fl flooded above the second floor. And, I mean, they're just ruined. Well, the, the house on the very end of my road, two days ago I came home. And, I mean, it's just devastating. I knew, I thought just the house was empty and nobody lived there, whatever, because you could see like a little bit of debris in the yard, just a little bit like a shingle here and something here and no cars were ever there. So I don't really think a whole lot about it. Um, it could have been, um, they were deployed cause there's military here. Um, and just came back. It could be, uh, some people do have, um, cause we're only like 30 minutes from the beach. Some people do have a, a vacation home here because it's much, much cheaper to buy 30 minutes away from the beach than it is on the beach, if you know what I mean. So, um, or they have, you know, families in the military and they just got a, a vacation home. I don't know what the circumstance with this house was, but when I turned on the road, I mean, it just broke my heart. Everything. Everything. All the furniture, the sheetrock, the insulation, the curtains, the windows, everything is in a huge pile at the road and I mean almost the, about half the size of a house and I'm like oh my god so we did not stand in water the water didn't rise here um but if you did not have an extremely good roof your house flooded from you know from the rain just I mean it just stood over us for three days and uh, really hard and it's so crazy because I put a brand new roof on this house. Not somewhere nine days, 14 days, somewhere around there. Before I moved in and before the storm hit, brand new roof, because I wanted the roof done, not banged on and everything when I'd moved in. Had the roof done, moved in. Seven to nine days later, the storm hit. I can't remember the exact dates. And it wasn't long. And the few people that had like, you know, like if their roof was like 10, 12, 14 years old, their houses were, did flood that way. Basically what I feel like, because when I, when, you know, when I bought the house, I had two people. I had the inspector and, and a roofer come out here and both of them said, 
put a roof on this house. You couldn't physically go out the road and look at it and go, oh my God, it looks horrible. It didn't. But I knew what I was looking at and I could tell the shingles, you know, and so that's why I had two opinions on the roof. And then they were like, no, you need a roof. Whether we do it, they weren't trying to sell me one. They were like, put a roof on this house. So had I not done that, or had I not bought the house and, you know, whatever, and somebody else was just going to wait around to put a roof on it. I mean, this is a matter of days. This house, because, I mean, they told me later on that there was a lot of places that had already, you know, like, not in here, but, you know, had leaked and, you know, they could tell where it was coming, you know, in whatever that crap is. I don't know anything about a roof. But had I not done that, I truly honestly believe this house would look like those two houses in my neighborhood. And the reason I say that is because the neighborhood's about 15 years old. And so the the roofs on these houses are like right there, like at the end of their life. And I've got, now I put a 30 year roof on this one. So, um, but you can tell, like the people across from me, their roof is new. Those beside of me, their roof is new. And the people beside them actually have a one of the uh, metal roofs. Um, which are lifetime, but I just don't like personally the way they look. But, uh, so, I feel like had that not been done to this house, like, days before this storm hit, and, I mean, this is, this is, nothing like this has happened since Hazel, and I'm not even real sure Hazel dumped that much. It, it, I guess it had to have. I don't know. I don't, Hazel was a really, really, really bad hurricane, but it actually wiped out um, oceanfront in a, at a lot of beaches, like Holden Beach, what now is their oceanfront before Hazel was um, second row. So it wiped out all that. But um, it was really bad. But it's just crazy how that happened when you think about it. How every single thing happened. And also the timing that I had been gone away from my house for four years practically. Moved everything I owned into one place when it happened. Because I had moved out of the townhouse too at that time. And had the roof flooded and, you know, got in here or whatever and, and ruined everything. Everything I owned was under one roof and we were getting ready to have a bad hurricane. So it, it's crazy time. And I mean, I, I don't, I don't feel like, I, I just don't feel like that this house, I, I, it would be just like that one had the roof not been put on. So I really, you know, I feel bad for these people, but um, I'll tell you one more thing. When I was coming home from Charlotte, the back roads from I-40 to get to my house, they were hit, they were the hardest hit. And I mean, it wiped out roads and everything there um, with the water. But there's how, there's empty spots now where the houses have been torn down and pushed into piles. And they've got a makeshift dump out there that was just like a piece of land. And it's piled like huge high where they've just had to just shove it just, they just tore the houses down and you can see um, it's just really, really bad. Like everybody, um, and this was like just two weeks ago. So two months after the storm, still at the road. And because this happened to so many people, the trucks that have been going around collecting this stuff are huge trash trucks with a trailer, a huge trailer attached to it and a vehicle like guiding them because, you know, it's so long or whatever. Uh, cleaning this stuff up, and it's just been horrible. Um, but that area was the worst. It's about 25 minutes that way for me. That area was hit so hard. I mean, it when I came through there, it was just crazy. And then to see the houses just gone, you know, that were that were there, and then the piles of rubble that they were just pushed into, and uh, you know, with insurance flood they they managed to get out of that somehow you know ha these houses that were damaged from the roof down I don't even think your f flood will cover that um th now then but then you have the the wind and rain and you know it depends on your coverage or whatever but if they say oh you know we don't have wind and rain but we have flood and then your house floods from the from the ceiling down it's not going to cover anything so a lot it's just so many people you know they just now stop feeding people and and they might still be um 30 minutes like newburn um but you know stop 
people, people didn't have anything, you know, they lost, they lost everything. So it was just very, very devastating. And I know I'd made a few videos on that when I was leaving and after I got back and everything. So I just wanted to update you guys. Um, but yeah, so it's just still, I, you see these houses that somebody's taken and either put it like a Winnebago, whatever you call those things, like you travel with, or a single wide or one place. Um, the house is probably a house that's probably a hundred years old, but it wasn't falling apart before the storm. And they've taken a brand new, like a double wide and put in front of it right in front of their house because they're actually emptying the house into the double wide and they're going to tear their house down. I mean, it's just crazy. It's crazy when you think that something like that can take everything that you worked so hard for and it's just not even fair, but I mean, it could happen. And you know, these earthquakes and these fires, it just happens and it's so crazy. So you got to be grateful, you know. I come on here and I show this, you know, collection, and that's, that's, it's not bragging. Uh oh. Hold on. This better not.